Are the inventory levels of your company either too low or too high due to the fact that your forecasts are not as accurate as you want? Would you prefer to be roughly right or exactly wrong? Hi, my name is Anne with the McCoy TV channel. Our goal is to inform people about IBP topics and other submodules. Today, I am going to explain to you how to perfectly balance your inventory using demand-driven material requirements planning, DDMRP and sub-IBP. Precisely wrong relates to why conventional planning systems fail due to the way they have been designed and how the bull effect appears. Shouldn't it be time to move from precisely wrong to roughly right and achieve an all-round better performance in your supply chain? Traditional material planning and control systems as ERP and MRP are systems in which detailed forecasts are used to tell factories what, when and how much to supply. Unfortunately, these forecasts are always wrong due to today's complex and volatile business environment where we have to deal with a fragmented and elongated supply chain. In consequence, wrong quantities are sourced, made or shipped to the wrong places. This results in badly balanced stock levels and you are not giving the service that you want to give. The real problem is on a higher level and comes from both directions. Transference and amplification of variability is occurring in both directions. This means that holding stock at a strategic point is even more important. But how to deal with these changing circumstances? This is where DDMRP in sub IBP has an answer. This is a solution that solves the bi-directional nature of the problem and still uses the relevant aspects of MRP and ERP. DDMRP uses the actual demands to drive replenishment through a decoupled supply chain in contrast to MRP and ERP that uses demand forecasts. Strategic decoupling points are used to drive supply order generation throughout a supply chain. I will explain DDMRP by going through the five core components and how these components are covered in sub IDP. The components are strategic inventory positioning to determine where the decoupling points are placed, so where your stock is positioned. The second one, buffer profiles and level determination to define the amount of protection at those decoupling points. 3. Dynamic adjustments, how that level of protection changes based on market changes and or future events. 4. Demand-driven planning, which supply orders are recommended and generated. 5. Visible and collaborative execution, in this part priorities are reviewed, inventory projections and the buffer and signal integrity status are checked to manage open supply with IBP. So, sub IBP covers where to stock, how much to stock, and in a dynamic way, you generate supply orders according to the daily usage and guide and alert execution in a visible way. The first step, inventory positioning. The goal of the first step is to achieve an optimum balance between the coupled lead times and inventory costs. So, you stop the amplification of variability in both directions where it matters most to shorten planning horizons. In IBP, this step starts with calculating the average daily usage by leveraging historical sales data and forecast key figures. Based on the average daily usage and other relevance aspects, as for example the variation in the use of a product, a buffer positioning recommendation is created and the impact on the decoupled lead time is checked. IBP makes it easy to group your material parts according to its characteristics as the type, decoupled lead time and variability. IBP generates the decoupling points to create independent planning horizons, which decreases market lead times. In this example, you see where in your supply chain these are positioned. With sub IBP, you can easily manually set a product location as a decoupling point based on your strategic consideration. This setting will then be considered as a hard condition. You can also use scenarios and see the deviations between different options. Step 2. Buffer Profiles The goal of the buffer profiles is shock absorption so it can mitigate in both directions. A 3 zone, zone color coded buffer is used. In contrast to MRP, DDMRP never nets to zero. This means that you have no safety stock because it follows the philosophy that safety stock causes the bullwhip effect. The stock is composed of layers and if you reach the yellow layer you should order again. The size of each zone will be different for each part. For example, with more demand variability, the red zone will be bigger, and the replenishment quantity, which is the green zone, 
is dynamic too. Step three, buffer adjustments. Buffers are dynamic. They can change as your average daily usage is updated. You can also intentionally flex up or down in anticipation of planned events. This means that the reorder points are really dynamic. Step four, demand-driven planning. DDMRP uses sales orders to drive demand planning. A sales order is highly accurate in contrast to planned orders. Buffer status and supply order generation occurs through a daily application of the net flow equation. IBP calculates the net flow equation for every decoupling point location and determines the recommended supply orders. So it represents what is coming to me, what do you have, what do I need to fulfill immediately and what future demand is relevant. You check the generated recommended order. This reflects a replenishment proposal, which is sent from sub IBP to sub ECC through sub cloud platform integration for data services, CPIDS. In sub ECC, this proposal is converted into a supply order and sent back to sub IBP. So your net flow position determines what you do and this position is driven by demand, supply and your on-hand stock. And finally, step five, visible and collaborative execution. In the last step, priorities are reviewed, inventory projections and customized alerts are checked. IBP calculates priorities with your preference and determines if the decoupling point status is understocked, overstocked, bimodal or okay. Moreover, IBP gives you the opportunity to broadly analyze results in your dashboards in the web interface. You can, for example, easily check where alerts appear, visualize your buffers and check your investments per location. Are you curious to see how IBP can help your company to perfectly balance your inventory levels? Are you interested in more information about DDMRP? Download our free white paper, DDMRP, Serious Business or Fuzz. Subscribe to the channel if you want more informative videos of how SAP IBP can improve your business processes. And did you like the video? Share it or support our channel with a like. The goal of this solution is to simplify your supply chain by dividing it into smaller subsystems, but in a way that it ensures that you are still working at global optimum and not local ones. Thank you for watching this video.